All right. This here is the IOTV Generation 3. So, you don't need to know who I am or what it is that I do for a living, but let's just say that on YouTube I've been seeing a lot of videos about the IOTV Generation 1 and 2, and not that many videos about the Generation 3. So, here I am to talk about it. So, the biggest thing you'll notice is that with the old Generation 1s and 2s, the release strap basically feeds in through the rear of the IOTV, uh, the IOTV's collar, and down along the back, and it holds everything together. Front, no, front panel, back panel, and the side panels. But the side panels are now secured with these Molly sticks, which are apparently not tightened. There you go. With these Molly sticks and Molly webbing. And as you also notice, this thing is already disassembled. The thing that keeps the new IOTV together is through the use of these clips here. Yeah, the use of these clips. You don't. You no longer need to rely on a, a wire or a strap running through the you know freaking collar all the way around and all that crazy stuff. So with the new generation three. Is not only quicker disassembly, but also quicker reassembly as well. So you don't have to worry about too much. And also that, with the quick release, the IOTV fall apart, falls apart into two primary components. Front and rear. You don't need to worry about it falling apart into you know, six pieces or eight pieces if you have one of the older IOTVs that had the... Uh, elastic velcro belt underneath now with the new ones here let me show you here so with the front panel this is probably the one with the most amount of improvements here is with these clips here now if you look closely you see with these clips there's this wire for each and single every single one of them here and here now this here is a new quick release system. So let me show you something here. Alright, it's right underneath your rank, just like all quick release systems. But when you flip it up, you realize that there's no pull handle. There's this tab here, right? So, let me show you something. If you look closely, as I push and pull down on this tab, there are these four wires. Each one of these wires works with one of these clips. So this is what the clip looks like when the release tab is pulled. This is what it looks like when it's released. It does the exact same thing throughout all parts of the IOTV. Pulled. Released. So basically this is the new quick release system for the IOTV Generation 3 and 4. So there's not that many differences. It looks exactly the same, but it's just as means of assembly and disassembly have changed, as well as means of donning it. So let me show you what it looks like when it's fully assembled. Give me a moment. Alright guys, and this is what the IOTV looks like when you fully assemble it. Quick release tab here, name tape, everything's all tucked in nice underneath here with the velcro. Here's the adjustment straps for the clips. And the shoulder clips are, he are hidden underneath these shoulder straps and the adjustment straps here. You no longer have to, you know, do that weird unhook, pull, unhook, bull crap. And here's also the pull handle. And here's the rear component, which I forgot to secure properly. But don't worry, it's pretty easy. Tuck it in. Tuck it in. Give me a moment. Sometimes you gotta futz around with this stuff. But the thing with the best part about the rear component is that it's a one time deal. You'll never have to <laughs> disassemble this thing from the rear unless you get fatter or skinnier. And luckily for me, I'm getting skinnier. Thank God. But one thing you obviously notice right now is it does not have its plates in. 
So the whole entire, so the reason why I'm not donning it and showing you guys, you know, the whole entire thing falling apart to show you how foolproof it is, is because I don't have the weight of the ceramic plates inside the vest. If the ceramic plates were to be inside of the vest and I pulled that quick release tab, everything would immediately drop to the floor in, drop to the floor like a bag of rocks. It relies on, the quick release system relies on the weight of the ceramic plates. So if you pull that quick release tab while you're not wearing that plates, wearing your plates, let me tell you something, it's going to be a little harder to take off. But if you are wearing your plates and you do hit that uh, quick release tab, everything's going to drop to the floor, like it should, because you're supposed to have your plates inside your IOTV. Anything else otherwise, that's about it. So hopefully this has taught you uh, as much information as you could hope to get from this. Aside from that, please have a nice day.